What's up, it's Chris Heria and welcome to another vlog. Today it's a super hot day on Miami Beach and last time I was here, you guys saw me revisit an old move, muscle up and jump on the bar. It was a move I hadn't done in a couple years but I relearned it step by step from the very beginning for you guys right here. And today I have another move that's gonna be the 360 muscle up. So the 360 muscle up is an exercise that I actually learned right here on Miami Beach back in 2011. So today I'll be showing you the exact steps that I took to be able to unlock it and I'm gonna see if I can unlock it again today. Now the 360 muscle up is an advanced muscle up variation where you would explode off a muscle up, catch air, do a 360, grab the bar, and control yourself back down. It requires a lot of strength, power, and coordination, and eventually you wanna get so smooth with it that you can throw it into any freestyle or even do it for repetitions. So with that said, let's get right into it. The very beginning steps are gonna be just like the muscle up jump on the bars. If you haven't seen it already, I'd advise you to go ahead and watch it. I show you how to pop off the bar and get air from your muscle up. But just a quick recap, first you would start off by mastering your straight bar dips. You wanna be able to do at least 10 to 15 reps with perfect form. That's also gonna develop your strength for the next progression and the next progression is gonna be Superman dips. You'll be doing straight bar dips, but exploding at the top and swinging your legs out. So when you go down on the rep of your straight bar dip, you're gonna lean over the bar while putting your hip hinges onto the bar. Have your legs collapse forward as well, and then that's when you're gonna swing your legs out, push out at the same time, and get into a complete horizontal position and completely control yourself back down to a straight bar dip position. You wanna be able to master the Superman dips, get very comfortable with that movement, be able to do at least 10 to 15 reps perfectly in a row, and definitely try adding it to a muscle up and doing it on the pull-up bar as well. Once you've mastered the Superman dip, the next one is gonna be the tuck Superman dip. It's the same movement, but once you reach peak range of motion, you're gonna tuck your knees into your chest and bring your hips as high as you can. And again, you wanna control the entire movement all the way back down and master this movement on the bar as well with a muscle up, being able to do at least five to 10 repetitions. Once you've gotten all that down, then we're ready to start and we're gonna pick up right after the tuck Superman dip. So the first move we're gonna pick up on is gonna show you how to get air off the bar. So this is the top of a muscle up. We're gonna be training from this position. Everything that we're gonna do, we're just gonna add it after a muscle up. Now this move is gonna be just like the Tuck Superman dip, and this bar is hot as hell, so I'm gonna make this quick. It's gonna be just like the Tuck Superman dip, except when you get to your highest point, you're gonna explode, come right off the bar, and you wanna stay parallel with the bar. You wanna keep the bar right on top of your chest. You don't wanna push away from the bar. Control that movement, come right back down. And as you go up, you wanna keep your form and get your hips as high as you can. The higher your hips are, the higher your body's gonna go. It should look like this. As you can see, same movement to jump on the bar. All right, so there you have it. Now before I show you the 360 on the bar, let's practice it first on the ground. When you're doing a 360, especially when you're doing it on the bar, when you're spinning, you're gonna be leading with your face and your hands. So you need to look over your shoulder. As long as you're looking over your shoulder and you keep looking this way, your body's gonna continue to spin. If you try to spin and your head is looking straight, it's gonna be really hard to get your body to do a full 360. You can even try it yourself. Try spinning keeping your head straight or spinning and looking all the way around you, it's gonna be a lot easier, especially when you're doing it on the bar. If you notice when you naturally spin, you're always gonna be looking over your shoulder. You have to make sure to do that when you're doing a 360. So looking over your shoulder and reaching out with your hand is what's gonna guide you in this movement. And you have to commit 100% because if you stop, then you're gonna stop halfway on the bar. So once you've mastered your 360s down on the ground, we're ready to go back onto the bar. But before we do a full rotation, we're gonna go for just half, 180 degrees. So we're gonna pop off the bar like normal with two hands. We're gonna to start to look over our shoulder and start releasing the hand first on the side you're turning to Towards, then you can release the other one. And the more you tuck your knees and push off, the more pop and air you're gonna get. Let's go for it. So you start off light. See, now I'm actually going over 180 degrees. Right? And as you build more confidence, you can start doing more of a rotation. That one's a little sketchy. You want to make sure to keep the form tight, keep your body tight. Now, as you get more comfortable with this, the next step that you're going to do, and as you find yourself doing more than a 180, you're going to start to tap it with the next hand. As you go over, look for the bar, tap, you're good. All right, so I'm going to go for a couple reps, show you what it looks like. Bang. That would be the next step. So you see, if you haven't gotten the full rotation, you can always just grab with one arm first. Eventually, 
work your way onto grabbing with the next arm. You wanna pop it and eventually catch it. So once you've lost the fear, you develop your confidence, develop the strength and the technique, then you would be ready to move on to the pull-up bar. Now, just like how I showed you how to muscle up and jump on the bar, you wanna practice all of these movements with a muscle up first, each progression. So from here, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is master your muscle up, explosiveness on the bar, popping off the bar and coming back down. Then practice your muscle up 180 off the bar or tapping the bar to build your confidence. And once you've mastered that, the last thing you're gonna do is go for a full 360 and totally commit and get both hands on the bar and control it the entire way down. Me and my brother used to run these 360 muscle ups back to back for reps, so he's gonna give me some motivation. You still got it, Stefan? Okay, he did the first progression for me. That's good. 360 tap. Build the confidence. Lose the fear. It's cool, losing some fear. Hey, let's see that. I'm gonna back that up. Woo! That was a little sketch. Landed it kind of soft. Let's go for another one. Paz is gonna hype me up. Come on, Paz. Let's see a clean one. Hey, let's go, let's go. Woo, let's go. Getting back to the roots, baby. Hey. What? Okay, pass. All right, I gotta back that up. Gotta back me up. I gotta back that up. Hard work, baby. Some more trophies today. I think that's gonna cut it for today. I'm gonna pick this back up, run it back next time. Hey, yeah, what's up, man? What's your name? I'm Kai. Kai. Hey. Hey. Yo, honored, bro. What's up, man? No, I love your videos, man. Hey, man, yeah, awesome, bro. Could honored, I man. Grab a picture yeah, yeah. All right, it's a new day on the beach, and I'm ready for round two. I gave it a couple days to let my hand heal, let the move simmer in my mind, and now I'm ready to hit the bars again and see if I can get the 360 with better form today. These are advanced exercises, so even if you get it on the first day, which definitely doesn't happen often, it can take a long time to perfect. So let's go for it. I was looking over the footage of the last 360 muscle-ups I was doing, and I noticed that I wasn't popping right on top of the bar. Also, the way that I was like coming out of it, I wasn't tucking my legs as much as I wanted to. So I want to try something really quick. I want to come out into the Superman dip. And then as soon as I come out into the Superman dip, I'm going to tuck my legs, pop it, and try to catch. So it should look something like this. And I think that will give me better technique when I do it up there. Just got to make sure that I stay on top of the bar. So Superman dip. Come in. How's that look? Looking good. Yeah? Hi. It's getting the, like the old technique back. You're going at that perfect angle, high and away, you know? All right. So that's what I was missing last time. See, I was so eager to just jump back in and start my 360s again. Forgot about technique, technique. That's a perfect example too. Like, it's not just practice that makes perfect, but it's perfect practice that makes perfect. You know, you might be able to do it and it might look all right, but to do it really, really good, you gotta have all the small little techniques down, just like that one. All right, another thing that you can do to master the 360 muscle up and to build your confidence before actually taking it to a pull up bar is to try it on the parallel bar. If you can do a 360 muscle up on the parallel bar, then you can definitely do it on the pull up bar. It's gonna be a lot harder because you have a lot less space to work with. And when you pop off the bar and come down, again, you're gonna have less space to catch yourself. That's what I'm talking about. So basically, if you could do this move on the parallel bars and your feet don't hit the floor, you can definitely do it on the floor. Toe tap. What's up, man? Oh, my name's Keon. What's up, Keon? I see you on Instagram. Oh, I mean, like, get Instagram, YouTube, for your videos, and I like oh, it. And I appreciate what you're doing. All right, first 360 muscle up of the day. We gotta make this quick because I don't know how many times I have. How's that? It was good. Looking nice. You're gonna yeah, have to no. go for a couple reps, man. Because this is feeling too nice. You see? Practice it on the bar. I think what really helped me. Oh, it's already starting to cut open a little bit. But what really started to help solidify this movement was definitely doing the muscle up from here. Boom. 
popping it and trying not to touch the ground. Because if you don't touch the ground from right here, that means that you're landing, you're catching on top of the bar. You don't want to do a 360 like all the way out here and catch super low. That's going to mess you up for the setup to do whatever you're going to do next. So you want to go nice and high, right and center, catch on top, then bring it down nice and controlled and continue on. Now I don't want to rip, but I do have two more goals for the day. That's going to be doing 360 muscle ups for reps and then throw it in with another muscle up to jump on the bar again. Let's get it. Yo, this one's for you, bro. Woo, let's go. All right, so the jump on the bar was all right. I'll give it like a, a seven out of 10. The 360, I'll give that a seven out of 10 too. But the next one, we're gonna keep moving on. I'll get that in the next vlog a whole lot cleaner. So if y'all wanna see the muscle up jump on the bar, muscle up 360 and a bunch of other moves back to back, definitely look forward to the next vlog. The next one we're gonna go for is for 360 multiple reps. Let's get it. All right, the shirt's coming off for this last one. We got two in a row. That's not too shabby. Definitely got to go for three. You're gonna have to catch that in the next vlog. Alright, boy. I see you. Hey, hey. Yo, this one's for you, bruh. Yeah. This is for you. Oh. How's that? That was sick. Alright, I'm gonna run one back. There we have the 360 muscle up. We eventually got it down. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. And don't forget, I'm dropping my brand new summer collection at chrisharrier.com. Check out the entire collection and cop your favorite piece before we're all sold out. It's gonna be dropping in the next 10 days. So stay tuned and I'll see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. Mad love and peace out.